So this movie definitely exceeded my expectations. So let's go ahead and talk about it. Aladdin. So Aladdin 2019 is the live adaptation of the classic story from the animated movie just brought to life. I found myself liking this movie more than I thought I was going to. Everything from the acting to the songs to just the story and the plot and just how it all kind of flowed because everyone already kind of knows the story of the classic cartoon. So this version of the movie is going in with you feeling like Okay, I've already seen the original classic uh, cartoon version. Now this is the live adaptation of that. So some things are pretty fast paced. There's kind of a montage of things moving forward kind of quickly. And that's not really a spoiler. Um, it's just kind of a little thing that I thought was kind of interesting. It expected you to know that you were watching this. And if you watch the cartoon, it's like you know what you're in for. So it was kind of a... Jump. With that being said, I do want to let you know that it wasn't a bad movie. I think people are giving it more crap than it really deserves. It's fun. It's lighthearted. It really keeps that style of the original movie. And I don't want to keep comparing it to the original just because it is its own movie. And then there's also something we have to talk about with the movie as well. The big elephant in the room, the casting of Will Smith as Genie. Here's what I think about the Genie. Will Smith definitely brings his own spin to what the Genie is like. No one can ever replace Robin Williams, and he did it in his own way, and it felt fine. I think where Will Smith maybe shined the most was definitely where he was able to talk to Aladdin and be real with him at certain moments. And when you watch the movie, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. But for the most part, it was just a really enjoyable version of this character. Will Smith for sure definitely made him his own. The casting for Aladdin was done very, very well. Um, there was a couple moments where I was talking uh, to my girlfriend and I said, you know, I think there was a couple times where I wasn't really believing him very much. Uh, there was a couple parts that were supposed to be a certain way and it came off that way, but it kind of just felt flat. I don't know if that makes any sense. So the casting for Jafar, I think personally was fine. I think it was good. Uh, I... I want to say I've seen this guy on different movies before, but right now it's just escaping me. But for the most part, I will tell you that he did a great job. You felt he was evil. You knew he had ulterior motives with everything he was doing, but they kind of put a little bit of a spin on it. And the way that they did it kind of was cool. And the way he reacted and the things that he did to move forward with the story, it, it worked. And I feel like this was a better version of Jafar than the original. Overall, I just want to let you know that this movie was fun. It was entertaining. Go see it. Go enjoy it. But go with an open mind, honestly. If you go in there critiquing it before you even watch it, you're not going to enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I really appreciate your time. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Also, be sure to find me on Instagram and on Facebook, as well as Pinterest now. I have been on Pinterest, I just haven't really promoted it too much just because I don't use it that much, but I'm on there, so go ahead and check that out. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. We'll see you in the next video.